Hey guys, this is Ross again, and uh, thanks again for tuning in. Um, you know, just follow me on my journey of uh, creating an orchard, I guess, creating a garden, um, you know, creating some good food. And I've got some really good news. Um, today is the 8th, well, today's the 19th, or the 20th, something like that. Uh, tax season is over, at least for a while. Uh, so I got a good month or so to work on the garden, the orchard, uh, plant all the new trees I'm going to get. And I just have a lot of time to do whatever. Um, lots of things are going on and I have a huge list of stuff I need to do. And what I'm doing today is actually something that wasn't on the list. <laughs> it seems like I, I have this huge list but I keep like creating more shit for me to do. And uh, I don't know, it just seems never ending. It's just, it's just like a never ending list. But then again, I feel like if it wasn't, if it did, if it did end, then I'd probably be bored and move on to something else. So, uh, but anyway, today I'm, I'm out here by the greenhouse, as you guys can see. And I showed you guys in a previous video that uh, I put the stone down over here. Made it look real nice. And I asked some of you guys, which none of you responded to. Uh, it's alright, I still like you. Um, as to whether or not I should put these rocks all the way around the greenhouse. On each side and uh, behind the greenhouse. And that is a lot of work. Just putting in this little patch right here. What is this? Uh, six feet wide by probably two feet. So, this is a lot of work. A lot of stone. Uh, I think it would have looked really nice if I went all the way around, but what happened was I just got this bench, this potting bench, and I have a lot of potted trees, and I uh, usually do it on the patio over there somewhere, and I make a huge goddamn mess, and uh, I don't know, it's just a pain in the ass keeping the patio clean, and people I live with just have to have everything spotless. So I got this bench and I'm going to be doing it all my potting. I'm going to put it all up right here, uh, right against the greenhouse. And I thought if I, you know, if I were to put this thing on the ground, it's going to kill what's underneath. It's going to kill the grass. And, you know, rather have, than have me kill the grass, I might as well just put some stone down and actually anchor this thing into the ground because it's not... It's not the heaviest thing in the world. It's, it's probably not going to blow over, but I guess there's a chance it could happen. So I'm going to anchor it in the ground and put some stone down and make it look real nice. Now, that really wasn't the whole purpose of this video to show, to share that guys with to share that with you guys. But I wanted to show you the giant mess that's in this wheelbarrow here, and I also wanted to show you some of these tree roots. And this tree root is huge. This is like a two inch diameter. Let's see if I can lift this up and show you the bottom. It's so heavy. I mean, look at that. It's just a gigantic, it's probably, it's probably almost two and a half inches wide. Just an absolute monster of a root. You're probably wondering where the hell did that come from? Well. I got a lot of shade trees above me here and uh, you know this is really not ideal but uh, I'm making do with what I can plant here and this is my shadier bed it's not a total shade bed uh, I actually think this bed gets probably around seven hours a day and it goes all the way over here and it gets roughly seven hours a day because any of the light that comes up from over here the sunrise is there it might get a little bit of light and then it goes up and uh, you know the whole thing's blocked so as soon as the Sun reaches here that's when it starts getting light and that's pretty much all midday to afternoon Sun and then it, it actually sets over behind that house the neighbor's house so this bed on you know certain parts of the year i guess it could get six hours seven hours it's not the it's not the sunniest part of my yard 
but uh but it's okay because I've planted things here that can deal with partial shade such as persimmons mulberries this is my mulberry by the way this is my acai mulberry and I had to cut it all the way back down to the stump basically because I lost every bit of growth I had on this tree last year uh, in February my this tree started to leaf out and then a frost came in and killed all the buds up high on the tree luckily there's a bud coming out here the tree isn't dead but uh, if this tree does that to me again next year I'm gonna rip this thing out and put something else there because that's I lost a lot of fruit I probably lost uh, I want to say hmm I probably lost at least 20 buds of growth on this tree. 20 buds of growth, maybe you probably get about 12 mulberries per bud, if you're lucky. I don't know. That's my guess. So 12 times 20, you do the math. I'm just an accountant. Anyway, right here, I've got my citrus trees out. You know, this video is turning into something much longer than what I wanted it to. Seems like that happens all the time, but really the purpose of this, is this video is this root right here and these shade trees that these shade trees put out some massive roots. And what I've what I've seen last year uh, by digging up this this raised bed here, I moved shit around a hundred times to get things in the right place. Uh, there was a lot of research that needed to be done beforehand that wasn't exactly correct. So I ended up moving stuff around and about halfway through the season uh, when I digged up, I digged this, got down in here real deep. It, uh, there was a ton of roots in there and I couldn't figure out, it didn't, it didn't seem to me like it was the trees roots that I planted. It seemed like it was roots from something else. And that got me thinking and I realized it's probably the shade trees. Well, I was right because these freaking giant roots actually send, we're sending tons of roots. I took so many roots out of this, this uh, space here. They're just sending roots underneath the bed and getting all the nutrients in this, in this bed from the lower half. And uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out in the long term, but it is what it is. And I guess it's something worth sharing. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm, why I'm making this video is to share that if you're gonna put a raised bed near a shade tree, a giant tree, it's gonna be even it's even gonna compete with the bed. So yeah, just some food for thought, and I thought that little piece of information you guys would enjoy. So thanks for watching, and this was Ross. Have a good day, guys.